Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Market Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Tuesday, and it's November 8th, also known as Election Day today here in the U.S. Hey, uh, we got a pretty light day today, so uh, the only item on the uh, economic news is the NFIB small business. This is kind of a confidence level index that kind of measures the confidence with small businesses, which is important primarily because they uh, are make up the bulk of the uh, U.S. jobs out there. So as you can see, back in September, we had a 94.1 and an increase in October. So that means they're getting a little bit more comfortable where things are moving, which is a good thing because that means they'll hire more people here. So let's go ahead and take a look at the headline news. After uh, starting off the morning at a negative, uh, the stock market did uh, go up. Uh, it's election day. They were kind of bracing for any results, but right now they're kind of bracing for uh, hedging their bets, so to speak, with Hillary. So if we have any surprise news that Trump is able to come through, uh, as some are hoping to be a Brexit-type uh, response, then uh, then you'll probably see the stock market coming in at a negative tomorrow, as obviously their hedge uh, f failed for them. So let's go ahead and take a look at the bond market today. As you can see, uh, when the bond market, we were up a little bit further, uh, as when the stock market reversed and started going positive, we start going negative. So right now we're down about 16 basis points uh, from where we left off yesterday, which translate obviously uh, worse in pricing. We already had a price change uh, for the worst so far this morning. Now the big concern obviously is this 200 day moving average was an important um, line here as we don't want to close below that 200 day moving average. Something that could help us out later today is the uh, Fed will be buying some uh, mortgage-backed securities, which could hopefully help us out uh, alleviate some of that pain. So we haven't had uh, two consecutive days of uh, closing below the 200-day moving average uh, in like over a year here. So let's hope uh, today is not the first. As you can see, we basically closed right at the 200-day moving average yesterday. Uh, but again, we want to try to be above the 200-day moving average, which is important because this could only drive rates even higher if we start closing below and continues this trend in the, uh, you know, in the negative way here. All right, folks, so stay tuned. Uh, if you guys want more updates throughout the day, go ahead and uh, go to Twitter. You can follow me at Mike Bjork, M-I-K-E-B-J-O-R-K. -E and uh, there I do post throughout the day different um, uh topics that come up uh, that's affecting the market, so where the market's going. So if the mortgage back security is going up or down or stock market's going up or down a little bit, you'll get a lot of that information on there. And anything, and if we say one of the Fed members say something, we'll kind of post those type of document uh, items out as well. All right, folks, you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow, and uh, may the best uh, uh, president uh, win. Bye.